Hey guys, this is I Hey um, from Canvas Tutorials, and recently um, Mass Check HU went down. We're not sure if it was, you know, a domain problem. We're not sure if they ran into funding. We're not sure what happened at all. But we use the Image Map site for everything that we do in Canvas, and so having it down, people who are learning the code are probably like, "Oh my God, what the," f you know, and stuff like that. So. There is a way to get the coordinates without the online image map editor um, using Microsoft Paint. Now, this is kind of critical. If you are not on a Microsoft program or you're not on like a PC and you're on a Mac, um, there are uh, there is a tutorial that Hermoso has found, which will be posted along with this. Um, you can. It'll probably be posted in. Um, there's like a global announcement thread on our forums about the image map editor being down. Um, and yeah, if it's not there, and this is kind of the time, you know, after they have the site back up, then this is kind of just a easy way to do it offline. So what you're wanting to do, um, this is for, again, PC users. If you're a Mac user, go find, um, go find that link to Hermoso's video he found and it'll explain how to do that in Photoshop. Uh, I think it's CS5 and CS6. Anyway, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to have your layout open already. You're going to right click copy. You're going to open up, go to your start menu, click all programs. You're going to go to accessories and you're, you're going to click paint. You're just going to click outside here, whatever. You're going to hit control V or you can write you can go up to paste. See, I'm used to hotkeys, so forgive me. Okay, now for this part, you're gonna want to have to have a piece of paper. I don't have a webcam on, so I can't really show you what I'm doing. But here's what I usually do: I have a stack of note cards in my desk drawer. I take out a note card. I write down whatever layout I'm doing, you know, whatever name it is, in case I have to go somewhere, I get sidetracked, and have to stop. I'm going to first write down all the tabs that are on here. So, all this is for, you know, I'm doing the main menu. Don't worry about the click here to view my catalog just yet. But go ahead and do the main ones. And after you write those down, what you're going to do, make sure you click off. So if you hover over this and your crosshair looks like the four arrows, it's the wrong one. So click off so that it kind of looks like a cross. You know what I'm saying? See the difference? Kind of. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this little cross. Maybe, can I zoom in and make the, okay, there we go. The cross is a little bigger now, I hope. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this little cross that I'm moving very vigorously. You're going to place it at the top left of your tab. Top left, top left, and down at the lower bottom hand of the screen, which, let me go ahead and kind of um, do this, I'm going to backtrack it here in a second, but for the, for the purpose of this video, down here, just kidding, can't draw an arrow, there we go, down there, it's right below where that arrow is. It adds a little crosshair, kind of like what we had when we had the select tool, like this. See how the crosshair turned to the four arrows? Well, that's kind of... I'm gonna... Oh no! Oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna say it anyway. Um, but, down here is a section, and whenever you hover over something, and you're in the correct crosshair mode, if anything, click on brushes, and it will do just the same. Um, two numbers up here. So, like, right now, mine says 270, comma, 138px. So, what you're going to do is, so I've written down my home tab. You're going to put it at the upper left corner of the tab, and you're going to write down the first two numbers. So, mine is 334. 186. That's mine. Yours will be different. Yours will be different. If you don't have numbers showing up there for some reason, make sure 
you know, you're not in select mode. Um, and if it still is an issue, please contact me and I will see what's going on with it. Okay, so then for your next set of coordinates, because you have the first two, you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner of your tab. So diagonally from each other. So if I did like this, it would go from here, maybe. So I need my line shape, there to there. So point A, where we just put our marker, is right here. Point B is going to be over here somewhere. So take your crosshair and put it at the corner over here. And you write down your next set of coordinates. 604, 2, 2, 2. Now, if you open up coding, I'm going to randomly pull up a code. I'm going to pull up Lexi's code. If you pull up the coding, come on. There we go. Okay, so we got the coding pulled up. And so we just wrote down four sets of numbers. And that's where these will go. So instead of it being whatever it is, the coordinates we just did, 334, comma, 186, comma, 604, comma, 222. And those are the new coordinates for the home button. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out one more. There we go. That's the coordinates for one button. You redo everything um, for your buttons. So like if we need to do the click here to view my catalog button down here, you would do the same thing. So point A, point A would be here, point B would be here, and you would do your coordinates. So if we came down here, oh this is a good one right here, right there, boom, the three numbers and then your link. It's not hard to do. Um, if you need help with typing out like what to do for your links, because we don't have the map editor, what's highlighted is what you type out. Um, it will be in the little tutorial when I get it up there on Canvas. Um, but I've noticed that this has caused a lot of problems. There is a way to do it in Photoshop. I'm not sure if there's a way to do it in GIMP. Um, you can do it in Paint. I was taught in Paint just because it's a very simple program. But that's kind of how you do it. Um, and that's just to get your coordinates. Um, do everything else in GIMP like we had shown before. And then make sure you look for the numbers down here. I'm going to draw several more arrows. There's, it's down here, underneath your scroll bar. Um, another thing, kind of a warning sign. Um, make sure when you paste in your layout, that you don't have extra space over here. Because if you have extra space over here, your dimensions are thrown off. And remember, it has to be 900. So I'm going to try to put that back the way it was here. It needs to be 900 by whatever. So make sure there's no extra space. Um, anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope that you guys can get your coordinates down this way. If this, is, if this way is too confusing, or and I know it's time consuming, I know that, um, I'm not happy about it either, but it is an alternative so that you can keep making layouts. Um, it just takes a few more other minutes. Um, so I hope this guy, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Um, if you, again, if you're on a PC, this will work. If you're on a Mac and you don't have paint, you need to look up Hermosa's link. I will try to find it. If I can't find it, I'll ask him. If you can't find it, go to Google or YouTube, type up Photoshop. CS5, CS6 layout map, I suppose it would be called. Um, and yeah, so sorry about the site being down. Um, we're trying to rack our brains as to what happened and we can't really come up with anything. So yeah, keep tuned on the Canvas forums for updates about the masscheck.hu site and for other ways to find your coordinates. Thanks for watching.